In this video, we're going to talk about the geometric mean. So the geometric mean is the product of all the values that you have, starting with the first one, ending with the last one, and taking the nth root. So that means that you're going to multiply, for example, x1 times x2 times x3 all the way to xn, right? So if you had eight values, then n will equal to eight. And you take the nth root of all those numbers that you multiplied. So for example, let's say uh, you want to know the geometric mean of 4, 6, and 9. What you do is you multiply 4 times 6 times 9, and then you want to do the third root because you have three items, three values. Then when you multiply that, it gives you 216. The third root of 216 is 6, and that's the answer. So one of the applications of the geometric mean is the mean proportion. So for example, let's say you have two distances, A and B, and A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 8. What value can you make or can you find to make uh, two equal proportions with A and B? Well, one way of finding X is by using the geometric mean. And because we have two values, we can uh, multiply these two values and take the square root. The index is 2, square root, two values. So 2 times 8 is 16, the square root of 16 is 4. This 4 can be represented like this. And now let's see if uh, this all fits. A is 2, right? X is 4, cool, equals x is 4, which we found, b is 8, and these do check out to be um, correct. And so why would we want to find this mean proportion? Well, we can use it in similar triangles. In problems like that in geometry, we can also use it for golden ratios. Uh, believe it or not, we can also use it for ham radio. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And be safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.